Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous tutorial, we have added the update view SQL query to, uh, to maintain the main analytical table for tutorial project views. Now we need to call this from uh, the controller action, so stop this. And when this information is successfully uh, proceeded, we will create an other SQL command to run the information okay uh, same procedure but the different filter okay so we will create this copy uh, command to or we will say it update this is update this is update and here we have our uh, different filter which is update view filter here is a filter uh, here we have TID which is uh, get information from the uh, object uh, this is the single object here we have the TID which we will pass simply here and the information is executed okay and simply we will execute the reader and that's it and the information is updated automatically okay now execute this now our application is executing okay in the parallel we are going to create uh, a new query to select all from here and here we have this information right now okay uh, now we will refresh this and see what happened okay and now refresh this and you can see analytic one post ID is equal to this and view is equal to this okay uh, now once again I will refresh this again and execute again and view count is increased now I will do this again remove the debugger and here you can see my view count is uh, explicitly increasing so right now we have achieved the purpose of this video to update our main analytical table we, where we have the information of post and total views uh, getting in that post uh, which is three right now i hope this is informative if you have any kind of question you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye have fun